actually, unless it was through the internet, talk to somebody who's nice because they would literally not be able to come near me. It's very true. Well, it's that means you're actually real. Oh, God. It means I'm a terrible person. You just lied to me. You're not a nice guy because you're obviously just sitting right here next to me, stealing my air. Well, if I wasn't a nice guy, of course I'm going to tell you I'm nice. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm, I'm awful, right? I Which hate you. I am, but either way. <laughs> MS Noah with this dragon. What deck. an opening hand from Stoles. Pretty good opening hand. Oh my gosh. That's like the post nerf shadow dream. The 2 3 4 right He's there. He's going second. And we've seen this before. Dragon going first, shadow going second. Sometimes that can spin out of control. Absolutely, yeah. But and other there's... times, the shadow craft player can build up enough of a board, be aggressive, and stop the Dragoncraft player before things get too out of hand. Let's mm -hmm. see if this is the case. I mean, you have a lot of follower pressure here. And I think Shadow, even going second, typically, like, it's really strong going first, right? We know that. But against a Dragon matchup, I really feel like Shadow can really make use of those three Evolve Orbs. I mean, Dragon, like, I think has, right now, like, looking at these hands, I think Dragon has a, has a clear advantage of being able to ramp like like it can right here. It's got Breath of the Salamander. It's got what it needs to survive, and it's going first as well, which is huge. So it's going to be able to play things like the Wrath Drake even sooner. It can play Wrath Drake uh, next turn. In two turns, it'll be enhanced on turn eight. Yep. Salamander into the trade. Going to do pretty well for Noah. Sets himself up for a good uh, Sybil draw, Sybil top deck right now. Yeah, fingers crossed for that. And meanwhile, yeah, Noah was able to, to clear off the board, and so there's not a, a great catacomb play. There's a pretty terrible catacomb play, actually. Mm. Soul just catacomb might have sitting to. sitting there, kind of thinking about where all his customers are. Yeah. I raised my price. What uh, what happened? Everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. And now nobody wants to eat lunch with them again. Again. Yep. Yeah. Sad story, his life. Sorry, catacomb. Once a prince, now just a pauper. Hmm, it's not bad. Not bad. Thank you. So now Stoltz has got the option to Dark Conjure Soul Conversion. I mean, yeah, not great. He could just play the other Soul Squasher and get two solid followers on board. Pretty solid play there. But, you know, I mean, you might want to... Definitely might want to save the Soul Squasher. Mm -hmm. For sure. Les made very good choices in his match to spend the Soul Squashes, but it was a different board state and definitely mm -hmm. kind of identified the pressure that he was having. At this point, Les was able to evolve Lural for five damage, right? Pink to the face as well as four. Mm. And Stoles just didn't quite have that opportunity. Oh, man. There's a lot more where that came from. An evolved Ayala. That's one you want to stay away from. An interesting choice to play. I guess, I guess he kind of had to, but um, the uh, the Dragoon Scyther this early. He, he he cleared out his orbs. He played on curve perfectly, but getting rid of that such high value card. I mean, in in a, a shadow matchup, I can see why it makes sense. Just trying to like get that bane, like just just already on the board. Just want to like try to get some followers on the board. Gonna get the ramp here. Wrath Drake will be able to, if you kill the Skull Beast, then you Wrath Drake. Yep, that'll have some serious value to it. Could evolve and kill the last one, but I think you want to save it. Mm -hmm. Because they're so valuable for you, and you have the Genesis Dragon. Genesis Dragon Evolve is grade A play. Grade A play. It is grade A play. You know what is another great A play? Ouroboros. Being able to come out next turn. Oh my gosh, for Noah. Yeah, he's going to be ramping up to nine as well, so it's not, you know, Ouroboros is even one cheaper than what he can do. Yeah, yeah, very true. Still not going to be on turn 10. So Genesis Dragon, Bahamut, not going to be an option until another turn. Want to play? The Skeleton Evolve. It's not often you see this. That's going to give him four damage. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I think he would have much rather had Cerberus here. Remember? Yeah, I think so. He's, he's got the two Phantom Howls and ten Shadows, so, I mean, that's 
Yeah, that's 11 damage reach, possibly. Yeah. But even if he uses e his Evolve Orb, if he gets Cerberus, then he has 9 damage reach. And being at 10 health for Noah, unless he heals up here, <gasps> he's going to spend his last Evolve Orb. He wants 4 damage to face. Just wants to clear the board. He knows turn 7 is coming around. He knows Ector is a possibility, which it is. Okay. Stoltz has it in his hand, yeah. So there's 7 damage available here for Stoles. He hasn't used a... <gasps> hmm. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Not, not, you know, not great, considering you don't have an established board already, and you're not going to be able to play it along with the Ector for another two turns. And with Phantom Hala, it doesn't have any synergy because be the ghosts are banished. Yeah. Right? So he has to play Ector here. And uh, Grimner can do a lot. Grimner can do a lot. Bahamut but can Bahamut do a lot. But Bahamut can also yeah. do a lot as well. And getting the heal from the Ouroboros is really the big thing here. Yeah, that's the icing on the cake, for sure. Oh, Coming into another two. Bahamut, got to feel really good about throwing that card down this turn. And this is very threatening. What are you going to spend? Yep, the gauntlet Zombie is down. Party. Wow. What you, can you even kill this thing? You can't even kill it. You, he's got the death's breath. I mean, so we'll have three followers, plus the the shadow but the reaper. The Grimnir coming do down that. means you're dead. Yeah, the Grimnir. Yep, clearing you, the board. You are one shadow away from death's breath. Yep. Even if he did get the ward, you're right. The Grimnir would still would still clear it off. And you can't. Oh my God. I think you're dead. You can't break that enhanced effect on the zombie party. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's nothing like Voices of Resentment in Stolt's deck. That's a card that yeah. is really strong against Dragon. Noah, specifically. I think, has done it. Yeah, I think Noah. He's going to take the first game here. There's no way to gain the shadow that you need. Oh, no. Goodness. And he's just, I mean, it's the only thing you can do, right? Oh, and even the Shadow Reaper is just going to yep. get destroyed. Mm -hmm. Here come, what is this guy? Tell me about this guy. Tell me about this card that Noah's about to play. Uh, Grimnir, uh, he's, uh, he's self-proclaimed Mad Cyclone. What does he do to people? <laughs> he, uh, um, he, he hurricanes them. He hits them in the face with wind. He just, and he, very he just drew another Grimner wow. as if to drive the point home. Hey, can't miss it because I literally just popped up. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Luna. It is true. Grimner is since, very mean. It's been a while since I've seen Bahamut go for face for yeah. 12 health right there. Yep. There it is. The Grimner into the Bahamut. Very emblematic of Tempest of the Gods oh, right yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That is the tried and true. The Grimner coming in for that kill and blow. And that's the Dragoncraft deck off the table for no. He's going to have to play his Bloodcraft deck. Meanwhile, Stoltz has, has some options. He can stay with his Shadow or he can go yes. over to his to his other deck, his Dragon deck. Now, Bloodcraft can be very fast-paced. Oh, yeah. And what fast-paced means is that you have a very hard time kind of unless you draw out your right hand. It's kind of very, I think it's very important to kind of mulligan correctly and opt to spend your options early on. Right very judiciously, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to save options necessarily, but you also don't want to just be throwing them out haphazardly. You really need to understand where the power spike is coming for, for your opponent here. So we'll see. Going to be Vanya versus Luna. The winner advances to the finals. There's a Devil of Vengeance in the hand, buddy. I think he's going to mulligan, try to get that Belfocal right off the bat. Wasn't able to secure that. Ooh. But he still has... Um, going first is going to be really important as well. Mm. Let's see if Stoltz can, can get that. Okay, Stoltz does. That's, that's actually huge. First. He's got two Cerberuses. Yeah, but I, I, Vengeance Blood is... Uh, there's the Belphegor. Oh, that's huge. And he's got the Blood Wolf as well. See, in this scenario, I think the Vengeance Blood is more than happy going second because right on turn four, you, you can spend your Evolve Orb, Orb on Belphegor. And damage here kind of doesn't matter because you're going to be at 10 anyways. Exactly, yeah. So Spiderweb Imp. Razor Claw, whatever the, the Shadow player is going to want to, he's going to have to go for board clear, going to have to go for tempo. If he just goes for face, getting, you know, two, three chip damage before turn four, it's not really going to matter. Mm -hmm. Blood Wolf is such a great card. It gains its value right when it's played, dealing two damage to 
to both, and you have a 2-1 follower right on board. Stoll's thinking hard. Grimmer is going to be a really good card in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Because you need to play something like maybe Razory Claw to get through it. Mm -hmm. Razory Claw would do it. Too bad that Noah mulliganed the Devil of Vengeance, so he's not going to have that strong three cost for a 4-4 four, four drop. Yes. And then it's able to attack the next turn when you play Belphegor. Such a great combo. Bone Chimera. Mm. He's going to leave the Blood Wolf on the table. Urius into a shadow matchup is, is is huge. It's a monstrous card. That's going to be really tough because Stoll is going to be incentivized to try to remove the Urius mm -hmm. if he does opt to play it. And the Blood Wolf can just keep swinging face and on your next turn you don't have Evolve. You have Orthrus, mm -hmm. which can definitely help. And there is a zombie party to, to help get rid of the Urius. Two costs for three health is, is huge. It's, it's great this value. Oh, boy. But yeah, knowing that the Belphegor is coming out next turn, taking the two damage doesn't feel bad, and you get the solid 1-4 ward. That's huge. Yeah, it makes for a really awkward turn for the Shadow Player on turn four. Orthrus would have been great, you know, if there was just Urius. But now there's kind of like an awkward ward. If it hits the war, then like, okay, then you're going to have to trade in with the Bone Chimera anyway. If it hits the wolf, that's great. But you're still not going to be able to get rid of the ward. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's wonky. Mm -hmm. It forces the Shadow Player to make a less than optimal play. The big thing to note here is, as typical with a lot of aggro decks, Noah's, Noah could run out of options very fast, right? The card draw from Belphegor is going to be really great for him, getting that influx of options. And... Right now, he's doing very well, but that's to be expected of mm -hmm. an aggro deck. Right? I think Noah still needs to find the nail in the coffin type card. Right. I, I think the nail in the coffin is going to be the Dark Air Jammer coming out on turn five. And he's still he's going to have two draw opportunities from Belphegor. And in the following turn, he's going to be able to draw as well. So coming into the Dark General is absolutely huge. Coupled with the Razory Claw, that's um, six damage plus three. That's nine damage. If you use the Evolve Orb on the Dark General coming out in the later turns. Zombie party to get rid of it. Mm. And that leaves another two damage ping on the table. Mm. And it makes for an interesting play here for, for the Blood Player. I mean, you got Belphegor, great. But now you're at 10 health. And you're unless you Evolve and trade in as well, he, you're just going for face damage here. Yeah, he's not even going to bother trading into the Skeletons. You could have evolved the Belphegor and gone for that, but even then, like, one skeleton would have been left up, and you've got a really strong follower. You'll have a 6-5 follower, which is huge, but either way, the, the Cerberus here could be gaining huge value trading into one of these followers. Needs to definitely trade, because with mm -hmm. Razor Claw and the Evolve Orb, Noah could end it here. Mm -hmm. Dark Air Jammer as well. And I... I from Noah's deck list, he's, he, the only one-drop card he has is Blood-Fed Flower Bed, which is an amulet. deals one damage across four turns mm -hmm. as a countdown. But the only two drops he has are the, the Blood Wolf, uh, Urius, and uh, uh, the Imp. So either way, you're getting incredibly high-value cards for the Dark Air Jammer. There's nothing like an Ambling Wraith that's going to get brought up. Mm -hmm. So optimized, this deck is optimized for the Dark Air, Air Jammer plays on turn five. 4-3 and a 4-4. Four, four. Shadow Reaver gets placed down. Mm. Can't play Orthrus anymore. Seems <laughs> that he's gonna not really be able to remove the Blood Wolf. Mm -hmm. Either way, getting really good value from that Grimnir. It's left with one defense. Oh, there's a the flower bed. Noah needs to think really hard about how he plays out this turn. Mm -hmm. If you Dark Air Jammer, you're really hoping for for the good drops because, I mean, with eight defense, or only at eight defense, I mean, the um, and with two Cerberus in hand, 
for Stolten and Evolve Orb as well, you could get bursted down really, really quickly. Yeah, this game's gonna be this game is gonna be over too, in the next two turns for sure. The other thing too is even if you clear the board of the Grimner and the two skeletons, that's gonna give the Shadow Reaper four damage, mm. and it's gonna give uh, Stoles enough shadows to play Phantom Howl. Right. Then you got the four damage from the Reaper, the four damage from the Phantom Howl is exactly eight. Plus you have an Evolve Orb to spend. Right, and you almost you need to get the Spider Web in here. You need to get the Ward. He oh, doesn't get the Ward. Oh my gosh. Gosh. But with Furious, though, we've seen it. it. It works on Phantom Howl. It's got great synergy against that card. Hey, check this so, okay. if, so if Noah's so able to bring Stoltz do down six enough... Six damage. So we'll see. It's, it, so there's definitely a lethal here for Stoltz if he yep. plays it out right. Yep. So he's going to summon four more cards. That's going to do four damage, leave him at two health, and I think Stoltz has, has won it. Yeah, that's game right there. Just needs an evolve and two more damage. He could Phantom Howl. He needs to throw in the skeletons before he does anything here. Man. He needs to throw. Four, five, six. Yep, seven, eight. There it is. Yep. Oh, man, that dark air jammer was huge. Yep. He wasn't able to get the ward. If he got the ward, he would have lived. Mm -hmm. It would have mitigated uh, at least a, at least one attack from the evolved um, from the evolved Shadow Reaper, yes. for instance. Yes. Wow. All right, so they have to go to the second game here. Stoles has to face off against Noah's Bloodcraft deck yet again. Now it's going to be the Blood against Dragon, mm -hmm. which is interesting. And I have to wonder, you know, evolving the Blood Wolf and then pushing that into uh, into face rather than the Belphegor ended up in a situation where Belphegor got removed. Mm. I wonder if you had evolved the Belphegor, traded into traded one of the that in, done the damage, mm. then they would have had a weaker board state. Maybe you would find yourself in a situation where you could still do that face damage hmm. um, with a second swing. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, he could have yeah. elected to play the Spiderweb Imp and just he had it in his hand. So he could have just played one and then played something else that turn as well. Either way, Noah's going to have another this chance with his blood deck family. coming right into the Belphegor. Got to feel really good about that. He's got the Spiderweb Imp as well. Isla is a thing that is going to be played here. Noah's going to have to deal with that. Mm. And I think it's good, right? A 2-2. Two, two. Of course, coming kind of a turn late against Blood. Whereas Aggro Blood can can really have a 2-2 two, two much quicker than on turn 3. Right, right, So right, you're right. going to be a step behind. And with cards like Belphegor, and I, I think Noah has Soul Dealer, I'm not sure, but I mean, these these cards, are they're massive absolutely beefy cards like a 444 that's huge that's a massive card and you're able to draw two as well like there's huge oh options God. available for the bloodcraft bad hand for stoles and going second mm -hmm. this... oh my gosh noah has two three four with the devil of vengeance and belphegor so okay he's getting some ramp and he's got the grimner but that's gonna prevent him from playing ayla this is my home. Mm. Spiderweb Imp is not the most high value card against Dragoncraft. It's great against Shadow, being able to mitigate some of those attacks early. Well, with Dragoncraft, like we just saw, I mean, it's going to be Dragon Oracle coming out that turn. And so for a two cost, you only have like one chip damage this turn, as opposed to like maybe a Blood Wolf is a card you really want to get out of it in this matchup. Difficult play for Belphegor. He's not going to be able to go for a face with the Devil of Vengeance. He doesn't have an Evolve Orb. Yeah, he's going to have to trade oh, man. the Those Devil into, to draw into the Grimner. Yep. Very high value cards. He's got the Dark General and the Blood Wolf for some oh, massive and storm. More heavy. So having the second Grimner is actually really important, but even if he evolves, it's kind of in an awkward spot where he can't. Yeah, that's he eight has damage to already board. on board. Be gone. Power is uncontrollable. Dark General is available as well. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's any world that you can play that. Oh, oh my god, blood double wolf. Blood Wolf. More Storm. He plays the Flower Bed. Interesting. That's going to bring him down by four health, no matter what, in, in the next few turns. And he's going to evolve for face here. I feel mm -hmm. like that's the right choice. 
Yeah, the game's going to be over in the next two turns. If you don't use those Evolve Orbs, those are just wasted currency, basically. Yep, go for the slightly weaker. So this top deck is very important for Stoles here. He really hasn't gotten any options that he would have liked. And he, if he draws another big heavy-hitting option, I think the game's over. Oh, God. Oh, Drake. No, no. I don't no. think it's enough. Yeah, it's not enough. He, he Double Blood Wolf it. guarantees four. Wow, just getting now. blown out. And this is kind of the occurrence that you expect when you have aggro blood against against things like Dragoncraft or kind of slow developing things is kind of expect the scenario. So he's going to do four to face and he's going to play both blood wolves. He could win the game with flower bed, honestly. Oh, is he? Oh, he's not going to do it. He's gonna, he's gonna he, he could. <laughs> Shall I grant oh, just with six. And Don't mess it up. There were, it, it's ah, Lovecraft has very recently become very famous for people messing it up. I wanted the flower to bed to take the kills. win. Don't oh, go man. for the style kills, man. <laughs> it's regretful, especially on Bloodcraft. Don't go for the style right, kills. Right, yeah, we've seen that kind of blow back in someone's face. Pretty uh, pretty great. Pretty great. Either way, Happened solid game. Age. Solid game. He was able, Noah was, he had two chances mm -hmm. with the Bloodcraft and was able to pull it out with at least one. Yeah.